Good afternoon, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. It's for your boy Diversity back with another video for the channel. Another Saturday, another match week. Southend versus Bolton. Bolton recently been picking up some great results. Three wins in their last five games under Ian Everett. Great to see them picking up their form after both sides had a really tough start to the season. Bolton starting to pick up now. As for Southend, won our last Saturday against Walsall. Tuesday night, unlucky not to get a point at least against Forest Green. You know that was probably one of our games we could have continued our form, but hopefully. It's not been not too much as we go into a big game today. Obviously, Bolton have got the ginger Pele up top, so we're going to have to bear that in mind. But with our lineup today, it's actually, you know what? I'll take it. You know, we've replaced, since Tuesday night, we've taken out Matt Rush and put in Alan McCormack, which is good to see. Alan McCormack, I feel he can, he's always going to get that yellow card in the game. He's always going to be that big brute who doesn't mind taking the card or just getting in players' faces. So I think we're going to be playing a bit more defensive today. I think it's more of a 4 Five one today, then a four two like three one. So not a bad thing to see McCormack sitting in front of those defenders. Maybe Dieng's going to be up top helping Goodship with that aerial presence. Hopefully we'll get to see a good South End side out today against a very very strong Bolton side in recent showings. Hopefully you'll stick around to the end of the video with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you're hitting like down below. It's free to do. Plus you get to see more of my videos when they get uploaded, and I get a new face to the family. Now let's get into today's video. Please excuse the mess throughout the video. I just had a show. I just been doing a bit of work this morning, so tidy me up a little bit not the best of presentable but hey life goes on come on you blues after the moment silence there for diego maradona and now taking the kneel for black lives matter we are seconds away from kickoff here boys and girls let's get into this today let's hit them early let's get in on it come on you blues Ooh, ooh, Bolton all over Southend just there. Six minutes on the clock. Sav Savic, Savaric with the shot, I believe. The Bolton captain after some really sloppy defending, you could say, from Blues. McCormack didn't clear the original clearance properly. Harry Kripianu let and Savic run by and John White did the best to block him, but Savage got the shot off and just over the bar there. Early doors, six minutes in, Bolton already being creative up top there. So to break down the Blues formation early on here, we've got James Olienka on the left-hand side instead of in the central as usual, but hey, nothing wrong with that, open to the idea. And then we've got Timmy Dieng just sitting behind Goodship, but in front of the three midfielders. So almost like a centre-forward camera, which could be good as you've got the height of Dieng who could potentially find the channel runs and just the actual space Brandon Goodship could create. Could work quite well up there, and but we'll only have three at the back, but it can switch to a five at the back at the work as well. So early days here, but pretty even start from both teams here five minutes in come on you blues oh eggbury close there great ball i've got to say maybe even a lucky one from harry Kripiano from left back found dieng in the middle who flicked it on to eggbury eggbury charged towards the edge of the box and just just forced the save from the keeper and goodship couldn't follow up on the rebound corner coming up for blues here but first proper shot or first proper chance of the game I've got to say eggbury great little shot there corner upcoming Dimitri standing over it here on the right hand side not putting his hands up doesn't want no high fives he's not that kind of guy today sends in the ball to the back post and okay no oh, oh my okay I thought that was going to the back post that actually just went to the edge of the box and big Al literally volleyed it and it just cold watched that's the first time I think I've seen us actually do that that's nearly worse shit look just look at whoa Alan Jesus that was actually close it was I don't even, what, that much off the post, Grod. Good ship, you have not just done that. Good ship, got the luckiest deflections there from all of the Bolton defenders, came off all of them in the box, landed straight at his feet, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, he's hit it straight at the keeper. Good ship, you wouldn't, you'd think this guy hasn't scored a goal this season, but he, I think he scored two or three actually this season, one-on-one, -on -one and the keeper, to be fair, good save from the keeper, but good ship, you should be doing so much better than that. You missed the rebound earlier, and then you've just had a one-on-one. -on -one. God damn it, 35 minutes still on the clock. Ooh, close there. Bolton had the ball in the net. No celebrations, though, as it is offside. Luckily, Delafonso who just caught offside there by the Blues back line. To be fair, all played well. John White stuck out his arm to keep everyone on the side. Second time there in two minutes. Bolton have the ball in the back of the net, but it's offside again. This time, Anthony Sar Sarvich, I think the name. I've got it. The ex-Plymouth midfielder just caught offside there. As again, Blues kept a really good back line there. 
catching Bolton off with a few offside traps here, which is something I haven't seen a lot from us. We've been usually, people have been beating our offside traps, but it's good to see it's working today. 42 minutes on the clock. Fourth official just about to hold up the ball, the board here for half time. Blues defending at the back here with Oli Inka, trying to beat Kiesu off the ball. He's trying to hold it in the corner here, Oli Inka. But that is an absolutely dreadful clearance. Baptista setting a beautiful ball and Delafonso has scored right on our what in the fuck was that for oh Delafonso scores from a great ball in for Matisse to be fair I can't knock the ball that was put in but Oli Inka clearance was dreadful absolutely shocking there straight to Baptiste and sends in quite a peach of a ball over all the defenders Delafonso just up in the air heads past Oxley Right before half time as well. Just fuck's sake. That is not going to do ed us any good. I've got to say, we've had a good first half, to be fair. We've kept our shape really well. We've done most things correct. Maybe Goodship should have scored. In fact, he definitely should have bloody scored. That's just a knife to the heart, that is. I think it's going to be half time as well. Straight from kickoff here. No minutes shown of added time. So let's crack on into half time. <laughs> half time at the University of Bolton Stadium. Bolton 1, South End 0. Harsh, harsh, harsh. Very harsh to concede right on half time there. Thought we did expertly well in that first half to keep the shape of the defence. In fact, the whole team kept the shape really well. But as the old saying goes, if you don't take your chances up top, you're going to concede. And that's we've just been dealt that blow right there. Good ships had two really good chances this game to even get us a goal, to get us the lead, just to get anything from it. And he's missed both those chances. So it's just the old saying, you're going to concede at the back. And it was just unlucky, to be fair. Oli Inca's clearance, just really poor. Don't know why he took it to the corner. He just spun and kicked it and it went straight to Baptiste's feet and it all just went down from there. But I hope, I just, you just got to think, can we come out in the second half better than what we've just done? We need, it just shows how bad we need to get this embargo clear because Brandon Goodship up top, it doesn't work by himself. He's not at that level. He might be soon. If he has someone with him, like, for instance, Akinola, whenever this debt or embargo, whenever it's cleared, then I feel we'll have something. But until then, it just doesn't work up top on his own. Maybe bring on Matt Rush or something. Dieng's doing good, to be fair. That's splitting the defence, at winning the headers, causing trouble up top, flicking on headers, bringing the ball down. He's doing all the hold-up play really well. But good ships either too far away. Oli Inka on the left isn't working. Move him into the middle. Just play around a little bit at half time. Maybe just move a couple of people about and just see what happens in the first 10 minutes of the second half. If it's crap, just go back to what it was. If it actually is working, let's hold it out and let's see how well it goes. But half time here, hopefully, we hope for a second better, better half. Come on, you blues. Good ship! Oh, Brandon, 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 Brandon. <laughs> he doesn't want to score, does he? He just got played through there by Oli Inka. Heavy touch. Keeper has it. I'm sorry. We are like one good number 10 away here from actually getting a goal. Can we just sort this out, please? Fucking hell. Ewan Doyle has just earned a penalty. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. I love to see it. Doyle, great pass in there, gets past Hobson, White goes for the tackle, apparently he's dived, White is furious with the referee, throwing his arms at the referee quite viciously there, but he did look like a penalty, to be fair, from the angle I'm watching it, yeah, it does look like it, Doyle is going to stand over this, the ginger Pele, as he used to be called, back at Swindon Town last season, White's still arguing with the referee here, about what is all going on here, hope, oh... God, I just don't know what to think. So many penalties we've had against us, you just hope <laughs> this might be the one that gets saved. But I very much doubt it because you endure a great goal scorer. <laughs> right, let's see. Oxley in the net, jumping about, trying to put Doyle off, but I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. He's a great penalty taker. The number nine for Bolton, running up to hit the ball, sends Oxley the wrong way. 2-0, Bolton, game over. I'm saying it now, 65 minutes, game over. I just can't be asked to see this now. Good ship up top, like I said, ain't working. Bolton, they haven't had the best of starts to the second half, but that's all they needed was just a penalty. And now we're out of sight. Oh, it's going to be a long 25 minutes to go. 
third time now in this match, Bolton have had the ball in the back of the net and it's offside. Delafonso obviously in an offside position there, but three times, like, jeez, you should, if you put these chances away, Bolton, you'd be five up. I would have stopped this video by now, and this would have all been over and done with. Oh, this gets harder and harder. Hobson has just missed an absolute sitter. I gotta say, that's our first actual, I think, practice set play. Dimitri holding the ball above his head, puts it straight down. Kripianu, great little chip. Hobson by himself beat the offside shot, beat the defenders, and heads it over from the like the six yard box. This is getting unbelievable now. This is just so fucking stupid. Can we just get someone like Tom Clifford on just to get like some good set pieces coming in for like the last 20 minutes or something? Corner for the Blues here, 77 on the clock. Dimitri whips it in, front post cleared out by number 10, Savic. To the Bolton's number 14 who hits it out for a throw. And if you can't tell already in my voice, I've, I've given up all hope here. This is hard to watch. We've had so many good passing plays which have all ended up just out for a goal kick or a throw. And, you know, I'm, I'm just losing hope now. I'm just losing just whatever I have left of this. Yet again, a pass has gone straight to a Bolton player now. And Bolton, okay, that was just lovely play. They've just played through Baptiste again. Another great ball into the box. And Doyle is there. Three nil. Three armour. You just can't make this up anymore. This is... This is... Sh Oh, you just can't... Words can't even express this feeling right now. First off, we were so good. We take off McCormack. We are shit. Time after time in these last 30 minutes, we have been split open. It's just lucky they haven't scored. And now, finally Bolton have. But fucking hell. Oh. Why does Ron Martin not make that phone call? For any Bolton fans that are watching, you'll know how the old embargo situation works from a few seasons back. But it's just so fucking shit. We just need to make one phone call. And that, oh, great. Now we're bringing on three subs. We're bringing on Aqua, Clifford, and Taylor. Fucking brilliant. We're 3 0 down. That's going to make a great difference. Well done, Mosley. Well done. 3 0 down. Go on. Round of applause. You fucking cunt. Referee about to blow the whistle here, and for the fourth time this game, Bolton have the ball in the back of the net. I think that's Delafonso again for the third time has been caught offside. Four times. That's been more entertaining than this game. And full time at the Bolton Stadium. Bolton free. Blues nil. Yeah. Yeah. This will be a fun little review I'm going to do in a minute's time. Just going to get comfy for this one, boys and girls. Get comfy. Right, everyone. Full time, as mentioned, three 0 loss. Where do we go from here? You know, I love this club. I really do. I sp as any fan with their club, they'll support them through and through. They can accept the small mistakes. You know, the occasionally the ball being given away or a sloppy challenge. We can forgive the small mistakes. Sometimes even the big mistakes if it's a good performance to back it up. But this now is getting beyond acceptable. Like this got beyond acceptable from when we started losing five games or even five games into the season this was unacceptable I just feel Mosley got lucky last week when he made that statement after the absolute destruction against Colchester that we got thumped 6-1 and he said I was saving players for Saturday to beat Millwall yeah not Millwall sorry um Warsaw that one that team there that one in red yeah but I just feel that was luck now I just don't think there's a plan behind this at all we've got a manager who has had no, like, proper league experience. He's been in non-league for so long, and he's been Bournemouth's under-21 manager. He has not had this sort of challenge ever. No manager would have ever had this challenge to deal with. And it's so demoralising. I say every video, I want Mosley to be the guy to turn around. But his hands are tied with this owner of ours who can't make one phone call to, can to just basically say, yeah, the pay... The P-A-Y-E, the pay thing, I've paid it, or, yeah, remove the embargo now, please. Like, seriously, this is just beyond bloody belief now. You just can't watch this. It's so demoralising. And as a player, it must be worse, knowing that when you concede your first goal, you know you're not getting back into it. You know the game's over, pretty much. It's just, as a fan, it's so hard to watch. And I... I'm almost scared now to see what fans' reactions are going to be when we are allowed back in a stadium. I don't know if it's going to be get behind the team or it's going to be absolute toxicity towards the whole thing. I am so unsure about it now. 
it had today maybe gone in our favour or maybe something positive, then maybe we could look forward to it. But now I'm worried of how this reaction of coming back to Roots Hall is actually going to go. <sighs> Words just leave me after this, you know. Bolton, congratulations. Maybe 3 0 flattered you a little bit, but end of the day, you deserve to win in that second half all day long. First half, I felt we were quite even. Second half, yeah, you, after we took off McCormack, number four, you were just all over us. Yeah, what am I to say? And then just to top it all off on the end of this, our manager, in the 81st minute of being 3 0 down, brings on our big lump of a striker. He throws a centre back at striker. He brings on a left-back who should have started. It's just... Oh. Actions speak louder than words is the phrase I'm going to use to finish this vlog here. Actions speak louder than words, Ron Martin. So let's see what happens in this coming week. Otherwise, I fear this is going to be a very toxic return to Roots Hall. Not just for every fan, just for, like, even everything of the whole, like, town. Everything will be toxic towards this club. This is going to wrap up the video here, boys and girls. It might not have been the same energetic video you've expected from me, but I'm just so demoralised from watching that game that it's just done me in now. So I hope you've enjoyed me getting absolutely fucked off with watching this team again. I hope you've hit that subscribe button down below. And if you've liked the video, then good for you. If you haven't, then make sure you're liking it right now. Leaving a comment saying, what if you're a Southampton fan, what we should do, what... what can anything happen that could help us? If you're a Bolton fan, just, yeah, you know what to do. <laughs> I'm not even going to say. So, thank you for watching, everyone. My name's been Diversity. Make sure to tune in next time. It goes like peace.